What's good, YouTube fam? Psychotic out here coming at y'all again with yet another motor vlog, and today we're exploring again. <laughs> Like I said, another day of uh, exploring. I'm on another road I've never ridden on before, just riding around, taking in these beautiful lush sceneries and some damn beautiful apartments I'm looking at. Cancel Center, I did not call your ass. I'm talking about my damn vlog and my center come on talking about some hello, how can I help you? Bitch, I ain't answer you. <laughs> Coral Bay. Damn. Damn. Okay, man, we got some beautiful shit down here in Florida, brother. But, anyways, man, yeah. So, oh, best buy, cool. Now, I got a couple of things I'm gonna be going over today. Or rather, a couple of things I'm gonna be recording in multiple vlogs today, or at least that's the plan now, but we'll see how things going. Anyways, first order of business, I wanna go ahead and give a humongous shout out to my wife. I wanna thank her very much for delivering to me a healthy baby boy. That's right, fam. Your boy psychotic heart is now a father, man. I now have a son. And man, let me tell you, it is a wonderful fucking feeling. Now, of course, as you all know, as, well, should I say, uh, as to be expected, everyone who's found out I now have a son, the first thing they ask me, are you going to give up your motorcycle? Are you going to stop riding? And I, t I give them a nice, firm no. I'm going to keep riding. I'm going to enjoy riding my motorcycle. I'm going to enjoy raising my son. And when my son's old enough, and if he's willing, I'm going to teach him to ride motorcycles. So oh, I just realized that was all. <laughs> but, yeah, man, it's like everybody always thinks that just because you have a child, you got to get start giving up on the life, man. No, you don't. So here, here, I mean, today's Sunday, right? My son has been born, well, he's been here for one week now. He was born on a Saturday. So today's Sunday, what, well, the following Sunday? He's got a weekend, and um, like I was saying, just because you have a son, you don't have to start giving up on life, you know? If there's certain things you want to do, you can keep on doing them. Of course, you just got to be more responsible about it. Like me, for instance. That was annoying me. Uh, me, for instance, what I do is uh, I obviously can't go around my motorcycle every day now. Like, I can't just take off every damn morning and leave my wife home alone with our son. I mean, that, that'd be kind of fucked up. Newborn baby, I take off, leave her home alone with him every goddamn, every damn day. I mean, granted, the week after he was born, I took that, I took all of that week off to stay home with her and him. But we didn't necessarily get to bring him home right away. But anyways, this is what, this is what me and my wife do right now. So as of right now, it looks like the only times I'm gonna get to go riding and actually do record some vlogs is on a Saturday or a Sunday. So that's gonna be my new schedule for riding from now on. And also on Sunday, I intend to get at least two vlogs edited so that way I can still have a consistent upload um, rate for you guys and not leave you guys in the dust. Like, yeah, I got a son now, but at the same time, I'm still going to take care of and maintain my YouTube channel, my motorcycle, my recording equipment and everything. Speaking of maintaining my motorcycle, man, I finally got me a brand new back tire on here. Um, I forget what type of tire I got. I was going to get the Michelin Pilots, but it was a little bit too expensive. And come, I went to the competition cycle center to try to get my tires because um, I tried to go riding and it turns out I had a fucking flat tire for some odd reason. So I had no choice but to go up to the competition and get a tire. I mean, I could have ordered it from Amazon, but I wouldn't have gotten it till maybe Monday or Tuesday. And today is Sunday, man. I want to fucking ride, dude. I haven't ridden my bike in over a week. Shit. So yeah, I went there. They were asking like 190 something. 
for the tires and that's without installation so with installation we came to like 210 215 somewhere around there i was like no nah, fam i'm good off that what's the next tires you got so he went through the guy went through a couple of other tires with me uh like i said i don't remember the type of tire that i got but at the tax and everything it came up to 172 and some change at the installation tax and all that stuff oh well uh, uh. Not so bad. I got a brand new tire. Got plenty of meat and tread on it. I'm able to keep riding, so I'm happy. Cost me a pretty penny, but I'm happy. Next time, yo man, definitely, if you guys need new tires, order them on Amazon. I could've got tires off Amazon for my bike for um, as low as $102 per tire. Yeah, that's a, that's a bat tire, 102 and some change. Grant, I mean, depending on what you get, you might not get the best tires around, but you can get some good deals and some good fucking tires. And then you just, if you don't have the tools yourself, then you can take it to, um, what's most like a shop slim and install them for you. <sighs> I'm doing a lot of talking at red lights today. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, besides finally getting your brand new net back tire like I so desperately fucking needed, man. I also got, um, oh, I need to go over there take some pictures. <laughs> I also got some, uh, wheel, rear wheel dampers. Like, my bike, um, for those of you who know what a wheel damper is, I didn't have a single one in my back wheel for a long time. Like, ever since my previous tire change, because, um, I used to have four of them. Like, my bike takes four of them, but for some reason, that I guess the guy who had owned the bike before me, for some dumbass, dumbass reason, they cut the shits in half, right? So, technically I had two, but it was four pieces. So, put the four pieces together and makes two. So, I had those in there, but I guess the last time I took my uh, tire out to competition to get it fucking changed, I guess whatever asshole changed my fucking tire, took them out and threw them away because, um, when I took my tire out to them this time to get it damn changed, that's when I took the sprocket off my damn stuff and noticed that all my shits were gone. I'm like, oh, you son of a bitch. I mean, I, I can't say anything. I can't do anything about it because last time I had my damn bad tire change, it's been easily by nine or ten fucking months. So we're going to do, go back and visit and be like, who changed it nine or ten months ago? Oh, we're sorry. Don't worry. We're going to totally replace it for your fridge, Josh. Come on now. No fucking dealership or parts repair shop or anything like that is going to do anything like that at that much damn time. Now, if I would have discovered it the day of, maybe they would have done something for me. But, dude, this is my slate. Almost a fucking year later. I didn't even worry about it, so I went over to Bright Motorsports. They had them in stock, got them 76 to change. So I don't know, over this weekend, man, on uh, get things to fix my bike, I spent over 200 damn dollars. About, well, over 250 fucking dollars, rather. But it's well worth it because my bike is riding beautifully. My throttle, you no longer have that clunk, clunking sound when I let go or get on the throttle. Ooh, it, just, it just goes. Look at that. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, off, uh. It just goes. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> but anyways, fam, let's go ahead and end this vlog right here. It's getting a bit too long and I'm starting to just ramble on about a bunch of random bullshit. Yahoo! <laughs> on the fucking bus. <laughs> you enjoyed the vlog? As usual, please just kind of leave your boy like a uh, down below. Talk to my channel now, already with my beautiful subscribers. And in the meantime, fam, this has been your boy, uh, Cotty Hart. And as per usual, peace out, motherfuckers! <laughs>